In this video, we'll find the molecular geometry and bond angles for AlF3. This is aluminum fluoride, sometimes called aluminum trifluoride, and we're talking about this in the gaseous phase. So this is a gas that we're looking at. First thing we need to do to find the molecular geometry for AlF3, we need the Lewis structure. So here's a Lewis structure for AlF3, and you'll note that all of the fluorine atoms, they have octets, but the central aluminum does not. That's okay, aluminum's an exception. It doesn't have to have an octet. If we look at it, we see that the three fluorine atoms, they're bonded around the aluminum. There's no lone pairs. So imagine that these three fluorine atoms, they're gonna push away. That's how we'll find the molecular geometry. Let's take a look at that. So you can imagine the purple, that's the aluminum. We add one fluorine, two fluorines. They push away, so they're as far away as they can be. We add the third one, and we end up with this trigonal planar. So you can see it's all in one plane here. There are no lone pairs, so this is the molecular geometry, and it's also the electron geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure here. So if we couldn't visualize that, there are two other ways we can figure this out. The first is count the number of things bonded to the aluminum. So we have one, two, three. Then we'll look at this chart here. And if we have three things bonded, that's our steric number, and here we have no lone pairs, so we end up with a trigonal planar molecular geometry for AlF3. We could also use what's called the AxE notation. So A, that's the central atom, that's the aluminum. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to it. We have three fluorine atoms. And E, that's the number of lone pairs. We don't have any lone pairs. So either you memorize that AX3 is trigonal planar, or you look it up, that's another way to figure out the molecular geometry. The bond angles here, these bond angles right here will be 120 degrees here too. And the electron geometry will be the same as the molecular geometry since there are no lone pairs. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry and bond angles for ALF3. Thanks for watching.